people, check your corners. Sh comes at you fast. In the intro, you probably figure out some good things aren't happening. That is correct. My 280, my Phoenix, EK Phoenix 280 decided to leak. So let's take a look at what I'm doing at the moment while waiting for parts to come in to replace this. Okay, so this is what I have for temperature after leaving the computer approximately 45 minutes, hour to settle in with this pump curve. Well, it's flat curve, so it's actually just at 32%, which is right at the cusp of it being oh, almost silent, if not silent. If I put it on to the AI pump, the BIOS doesn't let me do anything with that. So with that being said, I have to use this program right here, fan curve, well, fan controller, and uh, version 1.4, 1, 1, 1, 1, 4, 2, to uh, manipulate this to be this quiet. Eh. Like I said before, this is after settling down for about 45 minutes, maybe a little bit longer. And this is how it sounds. Now what we want to do here is we're going to run Cinebench 20. R20, sorry. And we're going to do it like three times in a row and see what we get for the temperatures. Now, so we're going to start it and go from there. We're going to run this three times and I'll fast forward through this for you. Once it lets me, there we go. I know three tests really aren't that much to test it out, but I was playing Half Life Alex in VR, and my system got up to 78 degrees. Uh, 78.4.1 or something like that and I don't want it that hot because I'm in California once it gets warm out it's going to be like 90 degrees unless it can hold it off so it's making me a little nervous and I want to find a better way to cool this thing and I think it's going to be fan configuration this is number four for the runs so let's see if we can get it over that 78 mark so far we've only hit 77.4 i do have a offset set on the in the bios of 0.4 and it automatically went 0.43 sorry 0.04 and it went to 0 0.0433. And we're still running. Still haven't hit that 78. And that's done. We'll run it again. See if we can hit that 78. It's a little cooler out today. So 
Um, in the heat has not kicked on yet, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Okay, so we hit that 78 mark, so I think that's going to be what we'll get. Okay, so now we're showing the temperatures of the 240 being blown out of the case, in other words, into the radiator and out the bottom. And that's as low as I can seem to get it right now. I don't know what's going on. I believe I've had it lower, but oh well. We'll go from there. What really matters is just keeping it in the high, uh, the low 40s and you know, about mid 70s to be comparable for it to be sucking the air from the bottom into the case. So um, that we received, as you can remember, well, Let's move on to the Cinebench and see what kind of scores we can get. Uh, that was when I was playing around a little earlier than I remembered I had to redo uh, some of the settings to be exactly the same in the BIOS. So right now, just as before, we're set off with a negative offset of 0.04. And so here we go. And we're comparing apples, apples, except for now we are blowing the air from the case outside to the radiator. So let's see what kind of temperatures we get. Oh, wow. We're already up to 77 degrees and I've had this sitting around for, oh, we're gonna hit 80 easily for at least 45 minutes just idle in here. So this isn't looking good for this setup. The only thing that is not apples apples, I did when I had when I changed out the fans to swap them around, I actually had to take the system out and when I did that, I took the CPU water block off and I did not have the same I did not have the same thermal paste. So with that being said, as using the Arctix MX2, I'm not sure if you can see that, you can't see it's too dark in here, but it was Arctic MX2 as opposed to the Thermal Grizzly that I usually run, and that's the Hydronet. So, that's the difference right now if there's really any i do see though that we are getting actually a better scores with this offset which is interesting because we're in the 80s now and yep still getting a really good score let's run it again i was yap in there so I didn't get it right away Okay, and this should be about the fourth time around. And the max we're hitting is 81 degrees. 
So I was playing around a little earlier with the CPU voltage at auto and I was getting all the way up to oh, 83, 85. Uh, the other day when I was playing Half-Life Alex and I had it at, oh, what was it? Two, 2.0 for the volume, 2.0 for the voltage. I got up to 88 degrees, which I think this probably would reach. And But I got a score of, you don't see it here because I didn't save it, which I should have done. But it was a 7120 or 40 or something like that. So, you know, I don't know why that 6959 actually saved. I probably saved that a long time ago. But those are the scores I'm getting right now along with the that temperature. And by the way, that 88 degrees when I was playing Half-Life Alex was actually running Streamlabs. I wasn't streaming though. I was just running Streamlabs and it brought it up another six degrees. Okay, as you can see, um, the 240 radiator that I have in there with the new pump and reservoir just is not cutting it for the 3900X that I have into, in, in the computer. I have gone over a couple different settings uh, that I did not put into the video. Uh, I I did explain some things that were working for me, but not optimally. I was getting some good scores, things like that. If you have any suggestions on just the setup with the 240 and maybe how to bring down the uh, the temperatures, I've I've even turned off PBO, things like that. It still doesn't bring it down to a good uh, performance and uh, temperature. You guys know the drill. Hit the like, hit the subscribe if you like this video. Also, in the comments, go ahead and tell me what you think of the video and or my solution and what you would do. I'm very interested in that and uh, I'd like to learn from you as well as you learn from me. With all that being said, this is Chris saying out.